Good afternoon and welcome to another episode of Top Tube Tuesday where I spend two minutes sat on the top tube of my bike talking to a product that I'm currently using and today it's the turn of my go-to handlebar bag, the Rafa Mini Handlebar Bag. So this is not my bike packing handlebar bag. I've got a Top Peak one for that that is much bigger and holds a lot more kit, but is not really quick access on the bike. So I bought this to enable me to have somewhere to store food, the camera, my phone, some spares uh, on, on both when I run this in the road mode and in the 650B mode. The Rafa handlebar bag looked like it really fitted the bill. It's nice and small, compact. It's got two compartments, one big main compartment, uh, which is not really compartmentalized. It is just a big um, open space. And then you've got another section on the front that is uh, much thinner and good for holding your phone and perhaps some cards, that sort of thing. If you don't want to mount this bag as a handlebar bag, you don't have to. They put another strap on the side here and you can hang it underneath your top tube and then strap this rear strap onto the seat tube, or you could potentially run it up the front and strap that around your head tube. So I do quite like this bag, uh, but it has got some flaws for me, which I'm not so keen on. The first one is its water resistance. I went out on a drizzly day with this and ended up with a puddle in the bottom. So I don't think it's very good for that at all. You definitely want to run wa waterproof interior bags if you're carrying something like a camera. Two, I don't really like the zip. I find it really hard to use on the bike, even what, you know, one-handed, it just doesn't, it seems to snag and, and it doesn't open cleanly so it really for me is a bag that you have to stop by the side of the road open it get out what you want and then reclose it number three i don't like the fact that it is just a single zip going all the way over the top there uh, if it had two zips that met in the middle then i could perhaps more easily open it up or, or leave a bit of the bag open to grab my camera in and out of but i can't do that it's really either fully closed or fully open it has already taken quite a beating this bag though and it seems to be uh, resisting the wear quite nicely which is certainly good it's comparatively well priced, I think, compared to a lot of the handlebar bags out there. Um, so despite having the Rafa logo on it, I wouldn't perhaps uh, suggest that it's got the Rafa price tag as well. It's also pretty quiet, which is important to me. You don't want to put something on your bike that just rattles away. You will occasionally get a bit of noise, especially dependent on what you've put in there. If you've got a lot of loose bits and bobs and you're going over rough terrain, it is going to bounce about in there. But the bag itself is actually quiet, which is nice. One of the nice things about it is it drops just down below your handlebars, so you've still got plenty of space to run an out front bike computer, your bike lights, your bell, whatever it is. Um, you, you've got your space to do that. So I do quite like that part of this bag. But for me, it's probably going to um, be retired and I'm going to be looking to get something that is a bit more capable in terms of holding my camera and a bit more waterproof. Right, with any luck, that's giving you an insight into the Rafa handlebar bag though, whether you may or may not want to buy it. And if you do, uh, hopefully that's giving you some good pointers. If you know of a better bag that is better for carrying your camera in uh, and is definitely fully waterproof, then please do add something in the comments below. Like the video and if you could subscribe, that will help me grow the channel. Thank you very much. See you again soon.